We're back from the All-Star break. Last time you saw us, we left you with the 2 and 0 show. That makes us 17 and 6 over the last 3 weeks right here on the Ben Burns Report. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Allie Burns. Ben regrets he can't be here with us today. He's at a driving range in Denver. However, he does send his warmest regards as well as his best two free picks of the day. Now, before we get to the picks, I've got to let you guys know we're changing things up a little bit here at the Ben Burns Report. Typically, every night, right around the time that the lines come out, me and Ben jump on a video chat, jump on the phone, we discuss what we like, and we pick the best two plays. Typically, you're getting one from me and one from Ben. Then we film the show the following morning. But we figure, why wait? Now we're coming to you the night before the games happen, so you get even more time to click on our videos and get down on our action. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, then your phone will remind you about all the money that you could be making with the Ben Birds Report. All right, that aside, let's get this party started. First game we're going to talk about is the Astros at the Angels. Now, both of these teams are in a bit of a rough patch, and coming off of an all-star break, things get started a little slowly. We got the Astros. You know, they look good. They beat Texas at Texas, three out of the four games there, came home, beat Colorado twice. Then they dropped three out of four in Houston to Seattle, so not a good look. But an even worse look is the Angels. They're one and nine over their last 10. They've dropped five straight, three at the Padres, two at the Dodgers. It's not looking good for this team. And the problem is neither one of them are hitting the ball. Then we add something like a guy named France and another guy named Otani. Both of these guys are throwing quite well. They don't give up a ton of hits. As a matter of fact, you know, I was looking at France's totals. Typically, when he pitches, the totals in the first five are around a 4.8, but that's because Houston's averaging 3.6 runs in those last five games that he started. But the Houston team is only averaging 1.6 right now, okay? So they're not hitting the ball, and I doubt highly that they're going to start hitting against Otani, who's only giving up 1.4 in his last five in the first five. So we're rolling. I don't think it's a secret. Astros, Angels, under four and a half in the first five innings. That is how we're going to play the first pick of the show. Now, before we get to the next one, let me tell you guys, Ben has been red freaking hot in July, all right? 20 and seven. I've been cashing on his WNBA totals all week long. He's actually got a special totals package. It's a whole one year access for all of his totals. It's less than $2 a day. So head over to wagertalk.com and scoop that up. Start making some money with me and Ben. I mean, those are all Ben, but I'm just cashing on the plays because, you know, I get them. Anyway, so here we go. We're talking game two, and this one, Detroit is in Seattle. Now, we know that Seattle just hosted the whole all-star break, but it's time for them to get back down to business. We're going to look at another total here, but this is going to be a full game total. The number's at a seven, and it looks low, but we're feeling like it's low for a reason, all right? Now, Castillo has been nasty. Last time out, I told you, they just smashed the Astros three three out of the four games. Uh, he went seven straight innings against Houston, only allowed one earned run, five hits, and did not walk a single batter. And that was on the road. Now he's at home, and he's incredibly tough at home. In fact, he's 5-2 and two with a 2.58 ERA through 11 home starts. And while Castillo's hard to beat at home, Rodriguez has been particularly stingy on the road. Combine Rodriguez's strong pitching with the Tigers' poor hitting, and it's not surprising that the under has gone 5-1 and one in Rodriguez's last six home starts. It's actually gone 4-0 and oh in the last four, and all four of those games had a combined total of less than and five. So again, not surprisingly, we're expecting another low scoring affair. We're going to take it under seven and shop this one around. I think we're giving you a minus 105, but I see some even money out there and even some plus 105. So depending on your book, you might be able to grab some extra value. Thanks guys for watching the show. Don't forget, Ben is 20 and seven this July so far. So hit him while he's hot and the time is now. Head over to wagertalk.com. Check out what he's got to offer. And we'll see you guys tomorrow right here on the Ben Birds Report.